Hi guys, today is a product review day. We got a wonderful DT71 mini digital tweezer. This is a very important device because technology has been changing a lot. Components are becoming smaller and we need one special, let's say digital multimeter just to test those components on board. So let's know about this wonderful product. Okay, it's a Chinese product. What did you expect? Let's remember guys, with the barcode, we can scan it and search online. We will get probably connection to the manual, the user manual, probably with updates in Fillmore and the website. Chinese? Okay, we can manage that part. The guarantee card. And here is in English. No Spanish. Let's confess that it looks beautiful. It feels good, it's not heavy, it's light. Also has the positive side and the negative side and the tips are not so sharp. There is a set of extra tips, USB cables, and it looks a little bit different than the others I watched already in YouTube, in internet. Make sure you will insert it right, and it will start. For the calibration, we have to select in the menu, then close the tips, and open the tips when it says, and press the rear button when it's time. If we do it wrong, we will have to do it again. Close the tips. Wait for the moment to open. Open it. And be ready to press the button and that's it. And we got our zero ohms. Now let's make a measurement for some resistors. One ohm, ten ohms, hundred ohms. One kilo ohm. Ten kilo ohms. Let's remember those resistors should be plus minus one percent. Hundred kilo ohms. One 
1 mega ohm Ten mega ohms might be out of range. Anyway, this resistor is plus minus five percent, just for us to know it. For the resistor test, I will say I'm very impressed with the device. This is not a calibration test equipment; it's just a tester, a meter, able to tell us if the resistors are in the value we expect to find them. Anyhow, for resistors with 1% it's a very close measurement and I will say the device is in calibration. Let's make a short test with some capacitors. For one nanofarad, let's remember those capacitors could be even in plus minus 20%. Ten nanos, hundred nanos, one micro, ten microfarads, and a hundred microfarads. So to test capacitors is okay too. What about the LEDs? Typical silicon diode. Fast diode. Is able to light the red diode. The yellow too, the green is flashing, the blue one, and is testing the white diode too because the voltage is up to 3 volts. So to test diodes on PCBs, the surface mount devices will be wonderful too. My voltage reference looks terrible today with this wires adapter, but this for the tweezer. So let's compare the voltage. We can get negative polarity and this device doesn't detect the negative polarity. So we have to invert the position of the tweezer. Okay, not too bad compared with the voltage reference. We can program the time we want it to be off. Supposedly, if we touch it, we will wake up the device. But if we check it, we will wake up the device too. I like the idea I can adjust the angle of view and switch from one hand to the other. The identification could be a little bit tricky. It depends from identifying the device. Probably on the PCB we have some probabilities with the auto identification to miss the correct device. Anyhow, we also have a high probability to get the right device. I mean, if the capacitor is the 0.1 capacitor in parallel with all the load and the rest of the capacitors alike, we will get an unexpected measurement. Whatever we get is correct, but maybe we will detect the resistance of the whole circuit. Or maybe we have 10, 50 capacitors or 0.1 and we will get a huge capacitance. So it's a little bit tricky and we have to understand what we are doing.
many of us cannot stop doing measurements with this one by sure we must add something like this but also we will need something like that so it's not that I will trash the rest of them the truth is I need the three of them but this one becomes very practical because it can match small components that I cannot do with the others and I don't have to turn my neck to the multimeters screen because I have this one already on my hand difference than the multimeter the polarity is compensated by the minus sign and with this unit I will have to flip the unit not a major issue turn the neck and it's already flip it okay I like it a lot feels good feels practical it has some magnets to make the effect of attraction and rejection to create stability because all people like me were checking their hands all the time so that compensates our human hand error practical small supposedly charged it should rate about 10 hours of a working time and it's about two hours charging time so it's enough for the chief in the day whoever is doing repairings is incredible i recommend this device we should get one nowadays with the smd technology all the components are smaller and smaller and now we have to move to this kind of device thanks guys by watching the video we will use this device later when we find the first repairing I can get on the way to make a video with it and we will learn more about it. As I said, I strongly recommend the device and becomes in something very useful on the workbench. I think the device deserves a like. Don't forget our more videos about product reviews and soon we start with the videos about electronics from zero to up. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.